Imagine a fish that doesn't just live in water, but actually climbs trees, walks on land, and even breathes air. Meet the mudskipper, one of the strangest creatures in the animal kingdom. Found in the mangrove swamps in tidal flats of Africa, Asia, and Australia, this amphibious fish blurs the line between land and sea, redefining what it means to be aquatic. When the tide goes out, instead of gasping for oxygen, the mudskipper simply hauls itself out of the water, using its muscular pectoral fins like tiny arms and begins exploring the mudflats in search of food. The mudskipper's most extraordinary feature is its ability to breathe air through its skin and mouth lining as long as those surfaces stay moist. It also stores water in its gill chambers, allowing it to stay on land for hours at a time. This biological trick makes it one of the few fish that can literally survive out of water. But that's not all. Mudskippers are known for climbing tree roots and low branches to escape predators or look for insects. Their bulging, independently moving eyes give them a panoramic view of their surroundings, much like a chameleon's helping them detect both danger and opportunity. During mating season, male mudskippers build elaborate mud castles, towering burrows with chambers that can trap air bubbles even underwater. These structures aren't just homes, they're also love nests. Males perform territorial displays, flexing their bodies and flipping their fins to attract females. Scientists have even observed mudskippers fighting for prime real estate, using headbutts and tail slaps as part of their ritual combat. In a world where most fish struggle without water, the mudskipper thrives between two worlds, swimming, crawling, and climbing in a way that seems almost impossible. Its dual existence offers a glimpse into what early life on Earth might have looked like when animals first ventured onto land. So next time you think of fish as creatures confined to the water, remember the mudskipper, the fish that walks, climbs, and breathes air like no other. Would you call it evolution's rebel? Or nature's experiment gone, right?